Hey gang, it's Jerry here, and we're back in the shop, and I recently built a bank of drawers for my large uh, work table. And when it came to actually deciding to what drawer poles I'm going to actually put on drawers, I was kind of looking at options, and I was actually quite taken back on how expensive um, drawer poles actually are, even, you know, a very simple type of drawer pole. So what I decided to do is come up with my own design. Uh, I have a 3D printer, and I actually came up uh, with a design of my own to put on my drawers and uh, the really cool thing about uh, 3d printing is you know basically if you can you know sketch it up uh, you can print it out and uh, you can see this drawer uh, pole has uh, you can do anything on it which is kind of our model uh, I made one here that says uh, nuts and bolts so I can label my drawers of what components are actually in the drawer and uh, installed the uh, heat set inserts uh, into other drawer poles uh, and they're three inches on center which is the standard size for any drawer pole that you would go out there and purchase so if you want to see more about this project stick around okay gang so first things first um, the software that I use to model my uh, projects in is uh, SketchUp I primarily use SketchUp I started using SketchUp quite a few years ago for my uh, woodworking plans um, you can see there's a woodworking template here so I would use SketchUp to draw up my woodworking uh, projects and then also you can see down here that um, there's 3d printing um, template in SketchUp so you can use SketchUp uh, for 3d printing as well and if we go into SketchUp um, the first thing I want to show you is open recent and blank. So this is actually a blank uh, drawing of the drawer pole that I created in SketchUp. And it's very simple, uh, very uh, easy design. Uh, you can see I put radius corners on all the edges so it's a nice soft feeling uh, to the touch. And there's holes for your inserts to go in and these are three inches on center which is the standard uh, dimension for all of drawer poles if we look at the dimensions uh, here's the kind of the dimensions of the uh, drawer pole uh, it's five inches long uh, approximately an inch and a half uh, tall and just sits off the drawer about an inch um, so yeah very easy, uh, very simple design. You can see the holes are three inches on center here. Uh, the hole itself is just under a quarter inch in diameter. Uh, the threaded insert is approximately a quarter inch in diameter with the neural and the neural size of it. So when you press it in, it actually melts the plastic around it. Actually goes all around the neuraling and actually gets uh, put in there very solidly. I mean, they're they're really in there. So. Uh, the cool thing about this is you can come up with any type of design that you want uh, for your drawer poles. So this is just something that I thought that was cool. And then uh, I also have one that says um, uh, nuts and bolts. So I put nuts and bolts on one. So you can actually kind of even label your drawer poles on however you want to do it. Uh, the slicing software, uh, well, first of all, is then SketchUp, you can actually export the file to, as an STL file. And that's what your slicing software will use to actually uh, slice the program to get it prepared for your 3D printer. Uh, I use Cura, which is another free program. Um, uh, as you can see here, I have a Creality Ender 3. Uh, this is the size of my work bed. Um, it's about eight inches by eight inches. I can do approximately six uh, drawer pulls at one time. Um, but this is what the slicing software uh, does. Uh, it gets it ready for your 3D printer. And then you actually uh, take the file, uh, put it into your printer, and then have your printer print it out. So pretty cool. Now here's a time-lapse video of my 3D printer making one of my drawer pulls. And it's a Creality Ender 3 3D printer. Just received this printer. It's pretty nice. I, I really like it. And the plastic I'm using is a PLA plastic, which is pretty standard for 3D printers these days. Okay, so here's the rig that I use to install my heat set inserts. 
Um, I actually got, uh, you have to give a shout out to Adafruit Industries. Um, they're the one that came up with the design and I'll leave a link down in the description below to uh, their YouTube uh, um, video uh, on how to actually make this press and links on all the different pieces that you would need to build your own. Um, but it works fantastic. Um, you know, just have your soldering iron and you have a little lever here um, that you can move it up and down and you simply put your part um, underneath, uh, center it, and it's already hot. And what will happen is the heat will transfer into the insert and then you can slowly and very controlly um, push the insert into the part at the right depth and install your insert. Now I'll give you a, a close up of this shot. All right, so here's a close up of the insert going in. Sorry about the focus, but once the iron heats up the insert, the insert melts the plastic around the, uh, uh, the insert and the knurling holds it in place. It's pretty cool. All right, gang, so here we go. Uh, I think these drawer pulls uh, turned out great uh, for my uh, workbench here. Uh, and the coolest thing is, is I designed and made it myself on my 3D printer, so it's pretty cool. Uh, the threaded inserts is a 8 by 32 thread, uh, which is a standard thread for uh, drawer pulls, and 3 inches on center like I mentioned earlier. If you'd like to check these out further, I'll leave a link below down in the description uh, where you can see these on my Etsy store, and uh, also links to uh, all the other components that I used uh, in the video. Um, if you're a subscriber to my channel, I really appreciate the support. As of today, we had 1,822 subscribers uh, for shooting this video. Um, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, uh, please click on the link and uh, make sure that you subscribe. It really, really helps me out and you'll never miss a new video that I upload. And here's uh, some other videos that uh, you might be interested in. And as always, gang, if you put your mind to it, you can do anything. All right, gang, take care. See ya.